Today's creatures are tomorrow's dinner. Only shooting stars break the Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian, and today I'm getting leggy with Shelob, Child of Ungoliant. This is a six mana spider that doesn't have reach, but it does have death touch, and it gives your other spiders death touch and ward, which is great because whenever your spiders deal damage to a creature that your opponent has and that creature dies, you get yourself a food that's a copy of that creature. It's pretty fun because it means that you get to make clones of things at the same time as removing your opponent's creatures. The upside of this deck is you have an excuse to play spiders, which is a oddly decently supported archetype in Arena, especially with the addition of the other Ishkana, Ishkana Broodmother. The downside is that your commander costs six, and sure, you get to have fun with a lot of fight cards and fight cards, but it's tricky to get your big ol' Shelob out and then start using all those bites. You have to survive until that point, which means that you're loaded up with some of the best Golgari removal. And yes, Golgari is really, really good at removal. This deck is got some ramp over here as well, but you're going to notice there's a lot of these fights and bites and other things, including the mass fight spell. Or I guess it's a, a bite spell. I refer to a bite, by the way, as anything that... Um, deals damage without dealing damage back to you like spinning wheel kick is a great example so you can take out multiple things at the same time what makes this deck better now than it was before well we have a new fresh way to not just play a big spider that's pretty well statted for spiders but to double the tokens you get off shelob yes it's roaming throne everybody's favorite new card it goes in so many different decks and this is one of those decks shelob by the way is also just she's straight up in 8 8 for six mana that's a lot of stats which means a lot of power and your opponent is going to be forced to block her or remove her since she has ward she's harder to kill but we still get to go fast hit hard with shelob and her spidery friends so we're going to take this into the queue and we're gonna web up our opponents anim pakal thousandth moon and maker of honestly a thousand little dudes uh i have something on two that can block i have some removal if i can get more mana and once i have mana we have gwenna which gets us more mana for creatures or Tyrus provisioner landfall we'll see how many lands we manage to get yeah, I think that uh, Enem Pakal is one of the best Boros aggro cards to have been printed in a long, long time. It gets big and goes wide, has additional payoff for plus one, plus one counters. It's doing a lot of stuff all at once that makes it really hard to deal with, in part because if you try to target it, well, it's not usually the one attacking early on. It's, it's things like Star Pupil are attacking. No, oh, it's fine. I can destroy every gnome at once with a Maelstrom Pulse. There's nothing for them to put the counter onto. Hoping they don't play another creature. They didn't! Ha ha ha! My land comes in tap, though. Aw. <laughs> Ooh, are they flashing in a creature? Hold up! Virtual loyalty! Oh no, it's a knight! That gives them a creature to attack with. Land and call. Oh, chicken nugget. I'm surprised they didn't go for an and call there. Tireless Provisioner, that's my pick here because the Wooded Foothills is going to generate loads E mana. L-O-D-E-S-E-M-A-N-A. -E -E and I will... Could use another black source. This is tough. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for it. I got an assortment of three drops here that I can play. Uh, Gwenna is the one that gets me to Shelob best next turn. Gets me to Shelob and then, like, can untap. I like that the most. If they play a land, Fledging will be doing some business. Ooh, okay. Lelia gets a land. Uh, I will trade with Lelia here. Tireless Provisioner, you've done me well. Take that thing out. Let's get the counter and flies. I run Apprentice, a funky little guy. Shelob! Untap. Uh, can't use this for anything other than critters, though, so she's just gonna sit here. Oh, Shelob, help me. 
She Love does not have reach, by the way. I know. Yes, there's a lot of spiders out there, and some of them have reach, and some of them don't. You coming in? Gets a counter. Gets a gnome. Gets me two food. Yum, 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 yum. I love a good snack. Smackerel, smackerel. She Lob just can't jump. How embarrassing. Yeah, this is, um... Let's see. I do think I want the Cultivate here, so I'll use it. Grab one green, one black. I'm going to put the black mana into play. Actually, no, I'm going to put the green into play to play the black. And this is kind of the ultimate in blocking. Gliss is good. Yes, these do have ability. This one, this one specifically doesn't really have an ability. But, like, if we got Iron Apprentice and we somehow got counters on it and then it died by us eating it, that moves counters. So I will kill the Iron Apprentice. They can beef up Anna Pakal with that. Remember, I have a Maelstrom Pulse in hand. So I can destroy every gnome at the same time. Or I could just destroy Anna Pakal, because, like, yeah. We have Vorin Clex. You have Reach. You got a whole lot more than Reach, too. Yeah, I think killing Anna Pakal, because they put so many counters on her, is the right move here. Uh, I'm going to start by double tapping here, though. When it will untap on cast. We'll grab two forests. I'll just grab regular old forests here. A Maelstrom Pulse on an Impacal. Ooh. Loran's Escape. Hexproof and Indestructible. We sit back. Virtue of Loyalty will be untapping and buffing all these creatures. I like that they didn't attack in. It's like they could have, but it would have died to Vorin Clex. You know what I think I need? An Anim Pakal. So I'm going to use Shelob to fight Anim Pakal. Bam, baby! And you know what that means? That means I now have a artifact that's going to get plus one, plus one counters. And spit out gnomes for me. I'm the real Anim Pakal player here, thanks to my delicious snacks. Good game. It looks like somebody's exploring. Nikanzil, current conductor, a merfolk, who likes to check out the top card of the deck. Maybe put it into the graveyard. Maybe put it into hand if it's a land. Nikanzil's cool. Not that well supported, but still really cool. Nikanzil is at just two mana, a kind of aggressive card. It's relying a lot on the repeatable explorer cards that happen to be in Arena. But she does get you, like, a good amount of value off them. All right, let's go for green. And we will scry Raska. Yes, queen. Windswept Heath, a fine little fetch. I guess describing them a basic since they already have their dual land. Hi, Nikonzil! She's so cute. I really think her art is pretty. Instead of setting up a blocker, since uh, she'll probably get a plus one, plus one counter if they have an explorer. Yeah, Twist and Turns lets her explore. And also turns all your explorers into a scry, then explore. And also, I think, lets you just put land into play off her anyway. Yes, if you get a land, you can put a land into play. Good morning, Ritz. Are you ready for some fishy, spidery business? You put a Hall of Storm Giants into play. Nice. Third Heist Druid! I wish to ramp. I'm gonna use Binding the Old Gods to do it. I'll bind Nikonzil. 
Hitting the twist and turns is also fine, but I feel like Braska can take care of that later. I want to take out attackers first so I can better protect Braska. Also, I want to keep ramping so I can maybe play Shelob. I'm being told I should play some Spider Dance. All right, well, I have at least one cover of Spider Dance on this. Oh my God, do I not? How do I not have a cover of Spider Dance on here? I could have sworn Insane in a Raid made one. I don't have a Spider Dance on my playlist. Search for a forest. Give myself the uh, snow duel here, since it comes in tapped anyway. Um, oh, good fish. Get myself a treasure. I think snare spinner is fine. This way, if I get a land next turn, we could go like Shelob and Master's Rebuke. Even if it's a tapped land. Yeesh. I love how underwhelming some spiders are. It's two mana, one three with reach. That's sometimes a three three. Yay! Look at it. It's a spider. This, by the way, this cover of Lonely Rolling Star is so good. People in chat are talking about it too. I feel like it's. It's cleaner than the original because it's, you know, like an HD recording. But overall, Katamari Damacy has such fun music. Sadly, I don't think the actual Katamari uh, soundtrack is on Arena. Or not on Arena, on uh, Spotify. Alright, so I could take out one of those with Braska. I could play Shelob um, just to try and get that passive and also protect my spiders. I kind of like throwing down Ishkana though. Because then I'm holding the Master's Rebuke in case something sus happens. Also, I think they might have a wash away. You know. They might. I'll attack with Snare Spinner. It has Death Touch until end of turn. You want to trade? The Katamari soundtrack is on Spotify? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Lodestone Needle. That flips over and turns into... An explorer. They have to have an artifact to craft with, though, which they currently don't. Ooh. Choose to ooze. They have two oozes out here. I like the scales kind of sub theme they got going on. Gonna hope for that land. I'll take the damage. How's playing with my food? Oh, delicious. I love when she lob. Yeah, a land! Alright, there we go. So we're gonna have the tireless provision or make ourselves a happy little treasure. Here comes Shalob. And now what do I want a copy of? Specifically a food copy. Maybe Incubation Druid Scavenging Ooze always seems good. Seems solid. Seems solid. I could also just wait. Nah, I'm impatient. Um... Incubation Druid. For me. I can tap it for mana right away. Which means I can use Ishkana sooner. I can't use it right away. But sooner! I guess they'll have their, their scavenging ooze. Greetings. They're munching up the incubation druid from their own graveyard. Since we don't have a creature in ours. Yeah, Ishkana needs, um... Oh no, it's only an enter the battlefield for the delirium. Gosh, she's so cool though. I love all my spiders. 
Kristen turns needs to hit seven lands. Not a spider. Is a spider. Yum, 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 yum. You might have gotten me down to seven, but I got some snack rolls out here. <gasps> They're gonna silence Shelob! No! All her really cool abilities! One moment, please. Shana's tied vendor that was very rude of you! Very rude! Raska has freed my girl, protected my spiders, and brought great life to me. See what's on top of that deck. Nice merfolk up. I wanted to have graveyard hate. Nice temple little mystery. Get put into play. Can scry for them as well. But I am so ready to block. Come at me, bros! They do have a Karn's Bastion available for use. I ain't using it. Uh, this can actually bop a flyer when it enters the battlefield, which is really cute. I am going to eat my food. Sacrifice. Yum yum. I know it's a treasure. I'm saving this. It's worth more than a treasure here. Um... Huh, I technically can adapt that. I can have them lose life. Directly. If only they had any flyers. That's fine. We'll still bring it out. He's a good girl. I'll attack with the Lanor Green Widow and Shelob. These two are better defensively since they're lower powered. And the trample on this with the death touch on this is... Mm, chef's kiss. I do have a way to give Shelob Trample in the deck. Thanks for the scout! Let's see if it gets me a land. Because it can explore. It should tap for three if it adapts. Yep. Uh, Mirkwood Spider. I don't really feel like I need a 1-1 one, one Spider right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop that. I attack their life points directly. I do! And they proliferate! The dream is to have she lob out, get the chain web out, and then use it to punch like a dragon. And then you just get a free dragon food. Ooh, Titania's Command! Making these even stronger and filling their board up with bears. Bears, 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 bears. Yeah, I'm planning on uh, activating Ishkana if I need to. Um, block. Block. Blockadelphia. Before any of these die. Get ourselves a delicious snack. Or two or three or four. Ah, now we even have enough mana to eat one of our food. It looks so cute in the corner down here. GG! Pentalaza, sun favored! What do they do? They ramp and then they play dinosaurs that discover more dinosaurs. I think this hand is keepable since it does have a little ramp in it. It has this arcane signet. I've got some removal, I've got some protection, and we have the, uh, the good girl, Sheldred. It's just, it's a good card. Terra Sunder can't hit an Elvish Mystic. It can hit an Artifact or Enchantment, and once we get to four mana, it can hit that. But I only have three mana right now. Oh my...
Whoa, somebody just asked an important question. If Pantlaza gets turned into a food, as if I made a, a food copy, would it discover? Because it doesn't have toughness since it's a food. I imagine it would discover zero? Yeah, I think that that's correct. Well, that's wild. Um, I could take out the Elvish Mystic to try and cut off Pantlaza next turn, but I think I'd rather just pop down Shuldred. She's good, she's big, and she punishes our opponents for drawing cards. And she lets me take a second here to crack open a cold one with the girls, Shelob and Sheldred. Is it still a dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur creature, it's a dinosaur artifact. But artifact dinosaurs aren't dinosaur. Uh, you know what? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's just, uh, we gotta get to the point where we have Shelob out and we bite Pantlaza. Ooh, are you going to ossify Sheldred? I kind of like this because we can free Sheldred at instant speed to use it as a tricky blocker. Uh, I will just do that. They didn't play a dinosaur yet. Ooh, Squidman, it sounds like you opened some good Ravnica Remastered packs. Yeah, it, it has a creature subtype when you uh when you get rid of things with Shelob. I'll let you discover. I could technically kill uh Pantmaza first. Oh, they got sorts of pushers. So that goes into their hand, which kind of wrecks part of my plan. Rude. Whoa, uh, that's not correct. Um, okay, for anybody watching this, uh, it just revealed my opponent's entire hand. That is a dangerous bug. It's not supposed to do that. Interesting. What happened? They put the swords to plowshares into hand off the discover. And for some reason, it showed me their hand. And I don't know if this is accurate or if it's just showing me like cards from their deck. I genuinely don't know. This is so weird. Um, did the Discover cause that? It shouldn't have. Well, we'll see if they play cards and if these are those. Is this one of the cards that was revealed in their hand, Drover of the Mighty? Because they, they played these two cards after. No little eye marking things is revealed either, no. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, and, and now it's showing the swords to plowshares back in their hand. Uh... Um? Yeah, Arena, you are... I think Arena's just drunk. Well, you know, if you can't beat him, join him. This is a Diet Coke. There's no alcohol in here. Until I add some. Imagine. Yeah, you want what Arena's having? Wish we could have had the Provisioner out, but we kept missing land drops. Arena's getting crunk before noon. Arena's wild, then, is what they're doing. I have 30 life from Shouldred helping me out here. And I finally got to six mana for Shilab. 
Okay, hulking raptor, that... That checks out. I wonder if they'll play Rampaging Raptor. I wonder what this card actually is. I think this is just a visual bug. Okay, so it's a Savage Stomp. Oh, they both die. It's Shelob! Something real cute about if we get a food copy of something like Drover of the Mighty or Elvish Mystic, we can tap them for mana right away. Oh, here come Dino Pants! They got Watley, Poet of Unity. That'll put a land into their hand. You clipped the bug for me? Thank you, Sando. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. Just, yeah, normal Magic the Gathering stuff. <laughs> Really normal, really regular. Uh, I want to lead with Roaming Throne. A really good spider. Uh, and we want to name Spider on it. It's actually not a spider until it enters the battlefield. You want to block? Thank you for the food. But not one food, it's two food. Yum, yum, because Roaming Throne will double the trigger. Now, I don't really have a way to deal damage to this Ranging Raptor, so it's not going to trigger. Could a Watley food flip? No, because it exiles. If it didn't exile, the answer is actually yes. Yeah, I can't enrage food, but I can eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, just saw. Yeah, I wonder if the cards, by the way, are the cards that were revealed during the discover. Oh, Questing Bay! They give us a 16-month resub! Nice! Trapjaw Tyrant. It's a really strong enrage. I think that uh, preventing some of the damage from this is very important. Since it means they're less likely to get things. Oh, yeah, here, legendary food. They found Atali and Zakama. Well, dang, that was a good hit. In three cards, look at what they got. Oh, yeah, I should have blocked Pants for Science. That's their one ring. I don't have that in the stack. We need a fight spell, huh? X equals zero. Can I just have that, please? Thank you. I'm not dead yet! I'm just not doing too hot. <laughs> no, you can cast it. It's just X equals zero. Next turn, I'm dead. Um, they can't get through with Zakama. Atali flipping, I think, is the, the biggest threat. Zakama does have enough mana if they want to, like, destroy my Signet. I can eat food, as a reminder. I should have blocked Pants for Science. Okay, uh, this lets me bring back a gal. Do any of y'all anything for me skyfisher spider all right so we're gonna go provisioner kakaduma get myself a treasure i don't have a way to force a tali food because i don't have a uh, a fight here and i can destroy zakama or itali I think Atali is the bigger threat because of the backside, because Zakama against the ward and the death touch just isn't as good. And I don't get a food because this is not damage dealt, this is just a destroy. Okay, and uh, if I attack in here, it doesn't do anything because it's a one ring. They can gain a lot of life, too, off Sakama. Chat's like, all cute spiders. Yeah. 
They're babies. Spiders and dinosaurs. What you doing? They could deal damage to their own trap jaw tyrant, right? Yeah, if they wanted to exile things. They would have to pay three to hit it, and then two for the ward. The one ring draws them cards. Ooh, is Watley gonna flip? What, what? I'm just out here sitting with spiders. I feel like dinosaurs should be winning in a fight against uh, giant spiders. Like, we're sticky and venomous? But they're really, really big. Yeah, the, the cards are still bugged, and, and we now know these are not the cards. It's just showing stuff. Oh! Return of the Wild Speaker. Sir Fred the Seventh, thank you for the 19 month resub. I think that if they hit the trap jaw, pay the two. Oh, no, they're just hitting the Skyfisher Spider. I will gain life, thank you. Twelve. Doesn't matter because we don't. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It's too much damage. Still a good game though. Good time. GG. Corvold, Fey, cursed king. He's cursed to consume his subjects, but draw cards when he does so. Uh, this hand is a little awkward. I have Inquisition of Kozilek. Only two lands. I don't think I can keep it. I like this more. Scrap Gorger, Snare Spinner, Green Widow, and... Hunger. I know what I hunger for. Spiders. Don't eat the spiders. We were actually talking in my chat about... What kind of spider would you want to eat? Would you want to eat a giant spider? Would it just be like a less salty crab? I think so. Hmm. I want to get rid of this Gallagreeters before it gets counters or makes them treasures. So I'm going to kind of burn an early bite here. Cosmic Hunger! Eat them up. Ooh, Chatterfang. Nice. I'm getting closer. To Shelob. Next turn we have Shelob. Or we could go Great Henge. Something nice about Henge with Shelob is this only costs two mana once she's out. Mmm, a bitter reunion. Discard and draw. And then you can sacrifice this. To give things haste. Or to just sacrifice it to Corvold. Like the design on this shirt? Yeah, it's a, uh, a Kamigawa like promo sweater they had sent out. Um, I very much do have Forest, so this is unblockable. I love the henge. It's so great. Just look at it. It says so right there. It says great henge. Tasty Corvold. Yeah, but unless they have a lot of sacrificables, that's tough. I'm going to eat that old gnaw bones up so that I can't reanimate it. Yum, yum. Tasty, tasty. I think we go henge and provisioner this turn. Since Shelob's not getting me that much value other than big girl. Big and extremely easily killable girl. I shouldn't say extremely easily. She has ward two! Alright, Chatterfang. You're here to make some squirrels in addition to other tokens. I love making treasures with Chatterfang. It's so cute. Oh, here comes Corvold. I guess gonna munch up the bitter reunion. 
<laughs> Can't just call people extremely killable, but what if they are? Not hitting me for three. <gasps> oh, I love this. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a trash. Pop down the lob. I'm going to tail swipe because it's a fight, right? Yeah, it's a fight. Get myself a Corvold of my very own. Then we can have our Corvold trigger when we sacrifice our treasures. It's delightful. GG. Adventure Ahoy with Baluna Grand Squall. She gets you adventure cards, and she goes on an adventure herself. She also discounts the permanents attached to adventures, which is pretty cool. Um, I was hoping with that last uh, hand that we would have a third land, but with only two, it's, it's just not going to get there. This hand's okay. It has spiders in it. It has a spider lord in it. It has a tail swipe. But my gosh, we are like never getting... We're never getting that she lob out, so I'm gonna mulligan again. Keep this. Throw back the chainweb arachnid. And here's an elf. Edgewall Innkeeper. That is such a good card for them to get this early. <sighs> I'm genuinely considering having the elf kick this next turn. I don't have enough mana to kick it right now because it's four for one target. Oofa doofa. Oh, the accident prone apprentice. They're just playing it as the creature. That's also scary. They're all getting big. No, I want Shelob. I'm one man away from the big girl herself. From the spider demon, Shelob. Lovestruck Beast. They already have some 1-1s one here, so I like they're, they're not even bothering with Heart's Desire. They want card advantage. Vorinclex, get me Lance. I'm gonna grab the Snow Duel. And... Just, uh, I think a snow-covered forest is fine. I just want lots of snow for blood on the snow. Yeah, if I can't kick it, we'll blast it. And then follow up with Shelob and then a big kick. These snowlands are so pretty. I know. Thank you so much, Drew Champion, for giving me the uh, financial push to go pick them up. Do I have five snow? I do. That way I can bring back four and Klex off blood. On the snow. That innkeeper has been an ancestral recall. Good for them. Thanks for taking some damage. I appreciate it a lot. We're going to destroy all creatures, paying with all the snow. We're going to bring back Orinclex. Honorary spider. Look at his legs. He's a spider. Spider if ever I've ever seen one. Also, Orinclex can flip over and get us actual spiders. G-Lob's like, I'm so ready. I did have Masswood Nexus in this deck in the previous build. I took it out because, yeah, we got some non-spiders in here, but the effort to turn them into a spider just to get the value off Shelob just didn't feel worth it. Ronclex even has reach, like a spider. Spider in everything, but creature type. They have enough mana to cast Baluna. She only costs three. But they can't seek thrills unless they play another land. 
some long legs or arms, but only four. Squigglers? I don't know. He's got, like, plant arms in this. They're like the coppery plant arms. Vorinclex gets his head chopped off in the story. Ooh, reading pool, but not shocking him. Timeless witness to bring back an old man. Old man acquired. Do I think they'll have mass removal? I'm just gonna say no, because that's not really an adventure-y thing. Vorinclex, get in there. Down to 11, still at 25, and I'm ready to kick it. Ooh, I want to kick so bad. I kind of like Innkeeper into Baluna or another adventure creature if they have one. Ward 2, protect me. The White Wrath Giant? Yeah, thankfully not in these colors. Oh, hold up. They're cursing my lob. Cursed Shalab. Oh my gosh, who would do that? Okay, well, I was gonna kick, but free my girl, force them the block. Thank you so much for that timeless witness. Timeless witness. Give me a card from my graveyard. Blood on the snow. What a good card to have. I love eating my foods. I'm playing with it too. Admiral Brass, unsinkable. A pirate reanimator that's honestly very, very good. It brings back a pirate from the graveyard at the start of combat. And it also mills to make sure you have pirates in the graveyard. Brings them back with haste and does four fours, just in case your pirates weren't big enough, because typically they're like two twos or two ones. Pirates ain't usually this big. Admiral Brass makes them huge. I don't have a lot of instant speed removal in this deck that's not conditional, like requires me to have a creature to fight that's bigger than the thing. But this hand has a little bit of ramp, a little bit of death touch, and a whole lot of love. So I'm ready for it. Right, Brass? Ready to party with me and my spooters? Me and Spider Spiderson? Spider Spider Mama? Hello? Captain Brass. I guess Admiral Brass here. Promoted. Admiral Brass, I can't talk up your commander anymore. Thank you. All right, so they don't want me countering things. Monkey! Ah! I don't want to trade, but I think we should trade. The only problem is that this does come back from the graveyard. But if we have the opportunity to block, we got to block. <gasps> we don't even get the chance! They killed it. Ruined. Got themselves a treasure. They are ever closer to Admiral Brass. Goblin Tomb Raider. Masked Vandal. I'm going to exile their treasure. This is no longer a 2 2. And I can block Ragavan. Unless they kill this. Again. Blocking Ragavan. Monkey be gone. Until Monkey eventually returns. Fathom Fleet Captain! Ah, more anti-counterspell stuff. I will use this and I will name Spider. And this is a spider named Lanor Green Widow. This 
Swashbuckler. We'll eventually get Double Strike. It's a lot scarier once it turns into a 4-4. Four, four. Um, they haven't hit lands, though. I think they were really relying on the... Um, Actually, no, I do need a sixth land. I think they were really relying on the, uh, Ragavan. I don't want to save this chain web, so I will. It was a risky monkey play. They even had removal to, uh, keep it in line. Dark ritual. Here comes Admiral Brass. Recruiter of monkeys. Oh, they actually did mill a different pirate, Direfleet Poisoner. Give me a Ragavan, you want to trade? I want a treasure Ragavan. Or a food Ragavan. It doesn't actually do anything, I just like monkey. Um. Skyfisher Spider. Since they are so behind on mana, this is a really punishing play. I'm exiling their commander. They had to use a Dark Ritual. She costs seven to get out again. Seven. Yeah, good luck. You have three. And I have blockers. Monkey! Little monkey. Little monkey can kill little spider. This is actually not a monkey. It's a... It's called monkey, though. It counts. They pay the two. I will trade and I will block. A good finality there. And now it's Shelob! Alright, I guess I'll play the Hamlet Arachnir. Boop! And now we vibe and chill and hang. And see if I can make pirate synergy happen. Probably not. Cool, we win. We can just block their pirates all day long. Yarhar. Luka, Copper Coat Outcast. He transmogrifies and turns your creatures into other creatures that cost more mana. Um, I've got a Pulse of Smite Safekeeping and a Rasta. What I want is a little bit of early ramp. Failed to get ramp. Still got some good creatures here, so I'll keep. Temple of Milady. Milady. We'll move Ishkana to the bottom. Bye, Ishkana. Oh, two drop spider. What does it have? Death touch and reach. That's two things. Treasure map. That'll get them treasures. Faceless agent. Find me another spider. Aw, Chain White of Arachnir. That's a good little dude. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the Luca Caldera combo, where you get the, uh, I think it's called Caldera Breaker, and you have a deck that's full of mountains. Which means I want to exile it, if I can. What's the least spidery ability? Is it horsemanship? I mean, that's not very spidery. I'll, I'll give you that. Obelisk spider. Boop, boop. Yeah, if you were to cheat out any creature using Luca, what would it be? It has to be a red creature. And I feel like the, the Caldera combo, if we manage to see it, would probably be the choice. Uh, something interesting, though, is Luca's minus two does target, which means you can interrupt it with something like Master's Rebuke. Don't mind me and my itty bitty spiders. I'll hit that goblin. Yeah, I mean, if you just have a bunch of big stuff and then a couple tokens to sacrifice to get into it, that also works. Treasure map cracks open. And they've got a whole bunch of treasures now. Loads of mana. They discard. 
They draw. I should have held on to the Skyfisher Spider. Because I mentioned before, I do want exiling removal. Since they could get like a one or two mana token and then do their thing here. Oh, or they could steal my thing. Hi, Luca. Indeed, I can't stop it. But we have to find out what it's going to be. Let's find out. Oh, look. Yeah, it's called Era Breaker. So we knew exactly what the combo was. Lucky us, Skyfisher Spider. Uh, I can choose to exile it. I will not. Yeah, I guess we should have held up the rebuke. I, I want a Caldera Breaker so I can get all of the mountain cards in my library into hand or into exile, I guess. Fable of the Mirror Breaker into play. Make copies of that. Not that it will do anything when there's no more mountains. But them getting 32 mountains means that they will, let's say, very likely be able to kill me with an X cost burn spell. This is, by the way, for the most part, it's a combo deck. Honor the God Pharaoh, they're digging. They are digging some more, Invasion of Mercadia. They continue to dig. Hmm, a clone of Reflection of Kiki Jiki would be able to activate right away. Neat. Oh, hey, Tybalt. Tybalt can make uh, demons. Or can get something from this spell book, which includes demons and devils. And a devil's play. The devil's play would be able to take us out. It is a bit like a Luna Omni. Um, you interact with it in kind of the same way. Exile. They portal to Phyrexia. It is not a red card, so they cannot play it. Look at all those mountains. Striker Rich, okay. Nice treasure. A henge. Beastie boy. I won't have the one mana up, but that's just fine with me. Give me my snack! Yeah! Now I got myself a Kiki Jiki food! Uh, I'm aiming at Tybalt. Since Tybalt, I think, has a, about a 1 in 4 chance of getting them that Devil's Play. A thrill of possibility. Keep on digging. You'll find it eventually. Swarming of Moria. Other Tybalt stops me from gaining life when I eat my delicious, delicious food. She exiled a Mind Stone. And they draft a... Is that a Frenzied Devils? 
Witchburn Devils. When it dies, they deal three damage to any target. Oh yeah, they're digging. They make a devil too. Sure, I'll take a change, Brute. Oh, yeah, my ward costs are nothing to them. I'll let them have an invasion of Arcadia. Flipped. Their commander has no text because there's no more creatures in their deck. It's just plussing, to, I guess, to get to the minus seven. Shame about us not getting any more stuff here, though. Alright, so we want to make a token copy of the Faceless Agent. Hmm, Ishkana. I want to specifically hit the Pitchburn Devils. Though the Chiron Flame Rite would be pretty cool since we don't have a lot of trample going on, but I'm planning on killing it with the uh, Pitchburn Devils in a kind of cute way. You'll, you'll see in a moment. Pitchburn Devils, deal three damage to whatever target you would choose. My face, mayhaps? Okay, yeah, my face. Hi, girl! So I do not gain life because of this punk. Get this nasty boy out of here. Yeah, 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 I know. Scraps, what are you doing? Baby, baby girl, what you doing? My air! My air! <laughs> Who's a pretty baby? Who's a pretty baby? This is my kitty Scraps. She's a good girl. And I love when she shows up on camera. She is the floofer. Oh, they got an x cost spell! Good for them! Alright, so that's game. Good game. Let me extinguish this candle so my hat gets away from it. Yes. Look, Scraps, we died! Yucky baby, we died! He's so freaking floppy! Falco, Spara, Pact Weaver, a counters commander. They can play cards off the top of their deck, but only at the cost of removing a counter from one of their creatures. Uh, oftentimes played with a good amount of proliferate, some other shield counters too, and some other things that have really neat interactions. All with her friend. Elko Sparrow, who flies. Let's see. Ledger Shredder, Champion of Lambholt, and Luminorc Aspirant. Uh, Ledger Shredder and Aspirant are what I'm most afraid of there. Champion of Lambholt, I'm less afraid of uh, because, first of all, they can't play it on their current mana. And second of all, because I think I could get rid of it before it gets too big and scary using one of these guys. Two blue. Is it time for Ledger Shredder? Let's just go ahead and play a spider that doesn't even have reach. Spider. Yes. You look at this and what do you see? You see a spider. It even has a whole bunch of legs. It technically has six. It's a crab. Or an insect. It's a crab. Hey, Ledger Shredder. Yeah, this doesn't have reach. You see a robot. A robot carefully disguised as a spider. It has eight legs when I sit on it. Yay! It does look like the guardians from Zelda. The little doo 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 Those ones. I love those so much.
crabs are insects that are further into the tech tree. Then what are spiders? Are they advanced? I guess they could play Falco Sparrow here. It's just a spider that got specked into a different branch. So I could kill Ledger Shredder here, but doing that means I don't get a food copy. And you know I want food. I'm always so hungry. She lob, and I'll swing in. You want a double block? Really? Really? Two ledger shredders? For me? I don't get Falcaspara because of the shield counter. But I get two ledger shredders that are delicious snacks. Yeah, I don't need double foods of other things. <laughs> Cast two spells in a turn, I dare ya! This is also now uh, more things in the graveyard for Ishkana. Can foods get counters? Yes, they can. Which is weird. Yeah, Falco Spar is going to show up start investigating us. We see two of the cards in their hand because we had revealed their hand earlier on. Champion of Lamholt. Going to make it harder for us to block, but she'd need to be pretty dang big. Oh, <gasps> we get to connive! Ooh, they can also steal some abilities. Uh, I'm gonna drop... Ooh, that's a casualty as a war. How bad do I want a Falco Spara? I can only remove counters from creatures. I do want Champion of Lamholt. Okay, so I'm gonna drop... Uh, Skyfisher Spider on the first one. Draw again. Forsaken Crossroads. Yeah, just show me this. If they would like to, they can get another counter on something. Still trying to make spiders happen? What do you mean, still trying to make spiders happen? This is the next level tech. I guess I'll name Spider. Artifact, creature, and land sounds pretty good. Artifact. No, I want that for me later. Creature and land. Oh lord. She lobbing. They take eight to the face! Yeah, I do have a, a playlist that I'm playing from. It's called Jamazonian on Spotify. I just dropped the link to it in chat. It's all I listen to all day, every day. Ishkana Brood Mata. Can't be countered. Cavern of Souls. And now we're just chilling. If I wanted to connive, I guess I could have. But I need to wait until there's something for me to steal. I don't know if it has a power if it's food. I don't think it does. I also don't think it matters. Because we win the game. GG! Luca, Coppercoat Outcast again! Now is this going to be the same combo deck we saw before? I think there's a pretty decent chance of that. Uh, Forsaken Crossroads, we're gonna go ahead and name Black here, since we have a pair of double black spells, and get some more land. This is actually, I think, the first game we've had today, where we've seen our black market connections, and that makes me so happy. They saw my snow-covered forest atop my deck. No! Snare Spinner! My sweet little spider! I can't wait to reduce my everything by everything. Ah, 
I know me. I like to pay the six. A lot. So much. Ooh, look at all these one ones. Uh, yes, obviously. X equals one. Nice tokens you had. Don't have them anymore, though. Oh. Um. I guess they needed those to transmogrify into the Culbrera Breaker. Too bad. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars! I hope you had a lot of eight-legged fun with me and Shelob. If you're looking for the deck, it's in the description of the video. And if you're looking to hang out with me live, come on over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I stream magic almost every single day. And we get to brew lots of fun decks! Shelob, by the way, was a suggestion for a deck to update, since I haven't really touched it since Lord of the Rings originally came out. If there's a deck you'd like to see me build around a specific commander, or if there's a deck you'd like to see me update, please let me know. I have a big list that I draw from, and sometimes we get to update our decks. I will say there is one card that multiple people have suggested. Uh, it is Corsant of the Swine, I think. Or Drover of the Swine. There we go. Drover of the Swine. I can't build that as a commander. Y'all, it's not legendary. If you're going to suggest a card, just, you know, make sure it's a card that I can build as a commander. It has to be a legendary creature or planeswalker for historic brawl. Thank you so much for watching and have a brawlful day.